Hello everybody and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed video. Today as you can see we're going to be ranking something based on tier list and that something is going to be Assassin's Creed protagonist. So we're going to start all the way with the newest launched game Assassin's Creed Mirage and then we're going to go backwards to the original with Altair and we're just going to go through them all, rank them all, give a little bit about them, why I put them there and uh yeah. So don't forget to comment your opinions on my list and what you would change. What are your list and everything of that sort. So if you want to see more Assassin's Creed content or other game content, because we have it all, like this video, subscribe, comment your opinions, and share it. And now let's get into it. So we're going to start here with Basim. Basim is the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is obviously the newest game as of when this video releases to launch. Now, Basim is an amazing character in my opinion. I love him. The only thing I think that holds him back is his connections to Valhalla. I think when they tried to connect Basim with his Nordic, Norse, you know, background and all that, it kind of messed with his character, made it a bit confusing, kind of ruined his story. But I think if you look past that and just erase that, you will see nothing but an amazing story and an amazing character. I really like Basim, so I have to go ahead and place him at a solid A tier character. I think he is good enough for A. I don't think he's good enough for S. I think, like I said, his Valhalla ties really holds him back. Now, speaking of Valhalla, Ivor is our next protagonist, and I'm going to be a bit ruthless like she is. Ivor, or Eivor, depending on how you pronounce it, Ivor is a character that cannot hold her own, in my honest opinion. And with a not good story, I mean, it might be okay, it might be cool, but it's just a boring and slow story. I, I just don't like it, and I don't think Ivor can hold her own. So with all that being said, I just don't think Ivor has enough to even really carry the game. It's really... A better protagonist could have made Valhalla maybe redeemable, but with no help from any other casting, Ivor is going to get a solid D spot, the lowest tier here. But that cannot be said for the next RPG protagonist from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Cassandra. Now here's where things are going to get very controversial, because I actually love Cassandra as a character. She is amazing. I think she has it all. I think she has a good funny side. She has a very serious side. An amazing story that she pulls off. The voice actor is phenomenal. I think literally almost everything about her is perfect. So I have to give her the top spot. I have to put her in the S tier. I think she's one of my favorite characters easily in any Assassin's Creed. But that cannot be said for the last RPG protagonist, Bayek. Bayek, in my opinion, is a very cool character, but I think he suffers a bit the same fate as Ivor in a way. I really don't like the story too much when it comes to Origins. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's definitely better than Valhalla. It's not as good as Odyssey's, in my opinion, but I think here's the difference. Bayek has what it takes to pull it off. The voice actor did an amazing job. Bayek has great side characters and enemies, and so I have to give him a solid B-tier spot. And that's not bad. That's pretty good. And I, he definitely holds his own. I don't think he's as good as Basim, but I definitely have to leave him there. And up next, we have Evie Fry, one of the two protagonists from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I think Evie is another like Cassandra. I think she is an amazing character and focuses so much on stealth, which is all what Assassin's Creed is usually about. I love the way her character's done. Her outfits are definitely the best in the series. If you want to see me rank her outfits, let me know. I think she has the best looks, outfits, everything. She has the best weapons. She uses the best tools and everything. She has the most best skills, in my opinion. Everything about her was amazing. And I definitely think with Jacob next to her to kind of give her that sibling banter, to give her that comedic side, it just puts her over the top of Cassandra and places her in front of Cassandra for first place on the S tier. Now, Jacob Fry is Evie's twin brother, 
And I'm going to go ahead and say he's not as good as Evie. And I don't think that's very weird to say. I think most people maybe would agree with me. He is still an amazing character. He's still a very funny character. A great character. Lacks a bit in the stealth department, but is very, very awesome. So I have to think and give him a very solid spot as well. I wouldn't put him in the S tier personally. But I think Jacob having his kind of little rooks group also kind of factors him up. And obviously his ties with Evie helps, you know, make him a better character. Overall, I think he's a solid A character, A tier character. And I think that's a solid above Basim. I really think Jacob is one of the better characters in the series. Now up next is a character that everybody can agree one thing at least on is that he has pretty much the best parkour in the game. And with all the improvements to Mirage lately with parkour, I would think I think Basim is coming for his title a little bit, but definitely does not still compete with Unity. Arno is a really good character. And I think his story, and he has very good side characters, but his story is so good, and it really helps make his character feel more connectable i guess is the way to put it you feel like you can connect more to arno as opposed to maybe some of the other ones like some of their stories are a little bit far-fetched doesn't really feel you know as connectable but i think arno is a very good story very good character his obviously his parkour skills and everything factor in makes him a great character I think he's just probably one of the more fun ones to play with. And it also helps that you get to play as Arno with your friends in multiplayer. But factoring that out, just because that's a bit more of the actual game's gameplay instead of Arno's gameplay, I, I just think he's one of the better assassins in the franchise, has a rich story, rich character background, because it ties in with Shay from Assassin's Creed Rogue and kind of ties into all of that stuff. I really think he is a well-designed character, and I think had Unity just had a bit of a better launch, more people would agree that he is a better, like, up there character, higher tiered character. So I'm going to give him the respect he deserves, and I'm putting him in front of Jacob to be first place on the e A tier. I think he deserves that spot in front of Jacob and Basim very much. Next up, we have Adewell. Adewell was the Freedom Cry protagonist. I'm not going to lie, I, I don't... I'm not a big fan of Adewell. I liked him in Black Flag a lot. I actually loved him in Black Flag. I just don't think he has what it takes to kind of be the main star of his own thing, his own game. So I'm going to have to put him in the C tier because he is not a D tier character and he's definitely not worse than Ivor, but I'm going to have to give him a solid C tier. And speaking of Black Flag, obviously we have to talk about one of the goats of Assassin's Creed, Edward Kenway. Now, Edward Kenway is an amazing character, ruthless character, but he has everything you could want. Edward Kenway is one of the most feared men on the seas, and this Black Flag protagonist is going to be one of the S tiers. I'm not even going to hide, I'm not even going to wait to say it. He is S tier, and I don't think any of you would argue that. Edward Kenway is easily one of the S tiers in probably everyone's list, or at least A tier if he's not on your S tier. His fighting style is just amazing. He looks probably one of the coolest, definitely top three. His just, all of his fighting is just amazing. He's a pirate, which obviously gives him bonus points. I mean, that's just being fair. He has the coolest gameplay factors and sense of being a pirate captain and all that, and going on ship combat, sea diving and all that. It's no doubt, you know, there's so much praise you could give Edward Kenway that he is going to obviously just take the first place spot in the S tier list. I mean, I don't even think that should shock anyone really, but let's move on. All right, so next up we have Avalyn. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Liberations. And I'm going to just be brutally honest. I think she is a fairly well character, has some of the best gameplay elements when you can switch her outfits and all that. But I'm going to say that she lacks a good story and she doesn't have good supporting characters, which doesn't really help her shine more. And that drags her down. I think she's better than Adewell and I think she's better than Ivor, but not better than Bayek. She's a solid end of the B tier. And next up, we have another GOAT, Connor Kenway. Now for me, Connor Kenway is like my Assassin's Creed idol, I would say. I love Connor Kenway. I'm a very patriotic person, 
So having a, you know, a big American assassin, and especially one that fights in something like the revolution, one of my favorite historic topics, is something that I absolutely love. His setting is perfect. The side characters he's with is perfect. He is perfect. <laughs> I think Connor Kenway is honestly the best assassin overall. I think when it comes to combat, he is the most ruthless, most skilled. I think he would beat Ivor in a fight. And that's saying something because Ivor is a Viking. And I think the, he's the only assassin from the main, you know, the main games that would be able to defeat an immortal Cassandra. I, I think he's the only one that has a fair shot. He's got the parkour skills. He's got... Not the greatest stealth skills, but he's definitely got stealth skills. And he's definitely, like I said, in my opinion, the number one melee fighter. To me, Connor Kenway is the greatest assassin we've seen. And he takes the throne, top of the S tier, number one. The Kenways reign at number one and two. So like Ubisoft, when are we going to get a Wild West game with a Kenway descendant or like a 1950s type game or 20s with, uh, you know, another Kenway descendant? We, we want more Kenway family. Those two games are perfect in my opinion. <laughs> Give us more. Now, next up, we have another GOAT, another legend. There's no doubt about that. Ezio is one of the building blocks of Assassin's Creed. He's one of the foundation setters alongside Altair, Edward, and Connor. Without those four, there really is no Assassin's Creed. These characters are really good, but here's where I have to drop the, the, the gavel, the hammer, you know? I personally, I do love Ezio. I do love Ezio, but... Personally, Ezio is not in the strongest spot for me. Now, this is where people are probably going to get really mad with me. Ezio, in my opinion, is a good character. Do not get me wrong. But in my opinion, Ezio just doesn't have... I, I, I don't really know where to... You know, it's kind of one of those things where like Ezio doesn't click with me as well. He has a good character, uh, or good side characters. He has good story. I just don't see him in the same light as I do Arno and all of the S tiers, the four S tiers that I have. So I have to give Ezio a very solid second place in the A tier. And with that, we have to talk about Altair. Another one that you guys are probably not going to be happy with me. This Altair is undisputably another go and another legend when it comes to Assassin's Creed. But, I, you know, my honest opinion personally he is not that great. I mean, he is a cool character. Like Ezio, don't get me wrong. There is no bad Assassin's Creed character except Alexios. I don't know why. I hate him as a protagonist. He, he's a great enemy. I love him as an enemy, but he is no good protagonist. Now, anyway, moving back to Altair, it is just one of those things where he doesn't click with me. His story is good. His side characters are meh, in my honest opinion. But I, I'm, I'm just going to be brutally honest. He doesn't have enough of what it takes to put him high up on this list, in my honest opinion. I do think a remaster, you know, a redo on the game might help. Getting, like, another playthrough and all that might really help, you know, get him higher up on my tier list. But Ubisoft does not seem like they want to do that, or at least just have shared nothing about it. So until then... Altair is going to place in the B tier. Now, he is better than Aveline or Avalyn, but he is not as good as Bayek in my honest opinion. Now, I figured I wasn't going to go with the Chronicles, and I know I didn't do Rogue yet. I will do Rogue in a bit, but I decided why not do them all? So let's talk about the Chronicles as well. So the protagonist here for Assassin's Creed Chronicles China, I'm not going to try and pronounce her name because I know I will butcher it so bad, but she is an amazing protagonist. She deserves her own game, even if it's as small as kind of like Freedom, Cry, and Liberations. I think she deserves kind of a fill-in game there. I think she's really good, should have her own, and I thoroughly enjoyed the game. Her story is good and everything. So I'm going to give her a really solid B tier right in front of Altair and behind Bayek. I really wish we would get more, like, honestly, I wish they didn't have this mobile, you know, ancient Chinese game coming out, and instead they would have worked on a smaller scale, you know, game from ancient China with her in it, but oh well. Next up, we have Assassin's Creed Chronicle India's protagonist here, and I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to India's game, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, 
I, I just don't really, it's not as good as China, and he doesn't really star that well in it, so I'm going to have to give him a, a C tier behind Adewell. I just don't see him going any higher than that. Honestly, I might have even put him too far. I might probably should have put him below Ivor, but it's it's whatever. And last but not least is the Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia protagonist. I, I literally think this probably is the worst game in Assassin's Creed history. Like, main games. I know the Chronicles aren't really main, but um, they, they still count. They're still on all the platforms and everything. I, I think I'm putting that dead last. I, I don't think it's better than any of the other Chronicles. Ivor obviously is not worse than that. It, it's just bad. Bad character, bad everything. The colors are bland and all of that. And last but not least, we have... Shay Cormac. Now, I wasn't going to put him on this list at first because I hate the ideology of Templars. I hate everything about the Templars, which is why I love Assassins so much. And I felt like that was going to be too biased and unfairly rate him, but I'm, I'm going to fairly rate him here. So I'm putting him here at the end. It's only fair to put him on the list. So I think Shay is a good character. I do. I, I just don't think he has you know, a very great story. I, I don't think he has great side characters. I like the way he kind of affects, though, multiple other stories, kind of like Freedom Cries and Unities. Uh, pretty good, but I'm not going to give him, I'm not going to give him the praise he probably deserves. Not because I'm being biased. I'm, I'm taking all that out. I, I just don't think he's better than, you know, at, or I, or I don't think he's better than Aveline or Avalyn or Aveline, whatever you want to say. I don't think he's better than Altair. I don't believe he's better than Chronicles China's protagonist. And I do not believe he's better than Bayek. And there is no way I'm putting him higher than Basim and everyone above Basim. So that's how it's going to have to be ending out. And with all that being said, this list is over. What do you guys think about this list? Comment down below what's your thoughts. What are your lists? Maybe comment on some other people's lists when they put them out. What would you say, you know, what characters would you argue should be moved and all that? Let me know. Start some debates. Let's talk about it. Let's see which protagonists are the fan favorites. So with all of that being said, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like this video and subscribe, comment, share, all that good jazz. Subscribe, guys, because we are going to have so much more Assassin's Creed content coming out. And we also have a ton of content from other games. So there's absolutely something for you to enjoy. And we're going to have it all. So with that all being said, I don't have much more to say. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, yeah, so with all that being said, I will see you in the Animus.